conversation for PlayStation players. Everyone's always asking what class should I pick, what class, you know, should I decide to use for the rest of uh, Bless before I even continue to level up my characters. I know a lot of people have already got the, um, the pre-release package and it just launched, I think, today, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, just to kind of give you a quick, you know, overview. Um, if you want to be a solo player, but also at the same time be uh, useful in dungeons, my number one pick is the Berserker. It's a very slow start in the beginning, very sluggish, uh, but once you unlock Crescent Moon, which is around, you know, level 21, and you get into the Tristeza area, that's when you start seeing the results with uh, this move called Earthbreaker. Until then, I will say this is the worst class, the absolute worst class to run with until you unlock Crescent Moon. It is a pain, uh, fighting things solo just take long. However, if you can get past that hurdle, um, you will become one of the strongest titans in the game, one of the most powerful. By far, you're the highest DPS class because after Crescent Moon is another blessing, which is the best blessing for the game, for the Berserker, is called the Blind Executioner. Because you're going to be hitting damage numbers of up to 180 to 200,000 per slam, and it can triple tick, so that's about 600,000 on certain bosses um, of damage. And to put things into perspective, a combo for like a Crusader is like a hundred thousand. Uh, a Meteor, which is the big powerhouse move for um, a Mage, is two hundred and fifteen thousand to two hundred and fifty on a burst move. Whereas the Berserker can do that continuously for about a minute. But this is just me vouching for the Berserker. Um, now let's move on to the, my second choice. My second choice, and that's mainly because all-around gameplay from the beginning, especially since it's a new server starting off, would be the Priest. The Priest, mainly because of the fact that the Priest, um, it is um, a very survival, survivable class because you can heal yourself. You don't have to waste as much gold or resources to get potions. Unlike um, the other classes that rely heavily on potions, the priest is not because you can heal yourself and you're going to be extremely wealthy with the gold that you're saving so you don't have to be buying pots. Um, it is a team oriented class and again Crescent Moon is what you're going to be using for a good amount of time until you unlock Storm Chaser which is probably one of the hardest blessings to get in the game. Um, solo play, it's useful for mob grinding, it's somewhat useful and I'm going to show every, each and every one of these classes um, a little bit of like an overview. So moving on to the, my third choice, which is going to be the mage. The mage is useful because it's a very casual, user-friendly class. It doesn't take much skill to learn how to use a class. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be offended by, by me saying that, but the truth is it's very simple, very easy. It's quick. The berserker and the priest are very slow. But the, the mage kind of picks it up in terms of speed and it gives you uh, a massive amount of damage numbers um, quickly and very satisfying. Um, you do early on get to see uh, strength within your moveset, whereas uh, the priest and the berserker, you don't see those kind of numbers early on. The mage, just everyone in the beginning when I first started in Viscera, um, Bless thought that the mage was the DPS class. And it's a DPS class, don't get me wrong but it's not the strongest class in the game. Um, my fourth pick is the Ranger and uh, most useful in dungeons by far because it is the most asked for. So if you want to be constantly get into dungeons without any issues and not get kicked, usually it's the Ranger or the Berserker or the Priest. Those are the three um, asked for classes because the Priest is for the heals and this move called Judgment, the Ranger for this mark, and uh, the Berserker for defense down. Now the Ranger is quick, just as quick as the the Mage. Uh, the only difference is, unlike the Mage, the Mage can do like very good crowd control move sets, um, but the Ranger is more single target. So if unless you, if you want to be able to clear out mobs quickly, I would not do uh, play on the Ranger until you get I guess you know onto Crescent Moon or Blind Executioner. Because that's the only time you'll ever be able to actually clear mobs. As, um, usually most of your movesets in dungeons are going to be uh, singular focused. But again, um, in my humble opinion, the two best classes for clearing out mobs solo would be the Ranger and the Berserker. And I know I sound like I'm just kind of contradicting myself. But uh, you're going to know what I mean early on. But um, most of your attacks are going to be singular. And uh, your, your special moves are more singular um, based. 
single target based. Now the last class, it is my favorite class just because it just takes a lot of skill, is the Crusader. This is the first class I started off with and by far still one of my favorite classes to date. Um, it is well rounded, it can definitely do mob grinding, but not as quickly as all four of the other classes. Um, it is four, uh, I would say it's the fourth in rank in terms of being able to clear out mo mobs. The priest is probably the last. Um, it does take a bit more work to be able to be comfortable using the um, Crusader, but if you can get past the hurdle, it is great for PvP and it's great for uh, dungeons as well because you're a walking, um, basically, buff. But that's pretty much my choices. Um, I do recommend, if, like I said, if you want to get through the hurdle, become the best, you know, strongest DPS class, the Berserker. That's why I have him at level 40, because he is the most used for me in dungeons. I get through boss fights in a minute tops to three minutes tops. Uh, now first, second, third, fourth, fifth, in terms of like, you know, just casual play. Now if you always want to get into dungeons, I would say the Ranger or the Berserker. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of, you know, gameplay on each of them to kind of wrap this up. We're going to start off with the Crusader. Uh, the blessing that I would say stay on would be Lionheart Legacy. Once you get to Lionheart Legacy, that is the one thing that you're going to constantly be walking around. You're basically a walking buff magnet. Um, again, you don't really need to rely heavily on defense when you can block let me really emphasize this. A lot of Crusaders don't do this, and I know I was one of those Crusaders in the beginning. You really need to use your shield. Um, a lot of moves, you're the only one that stays alive at the end of the dungeon because you can use your shield. So I'm going to show you guys what it's like attacking one add uh, to kind of give you a perspective on the buff. So my attack's 8400, and um, with the buff... 9600 so it's about a thousand extra attack i'm not wearing my necklace or ring to give me extra attack so that's just gonna give you like a little bit of a perspective uh 15ks um i do average around 15 to 20k crits um so now let me just kind of show you guys that was just a singular now let me show you guys what it looks like to do like a bit of being able to pull all the ads together so what you guys saw before was solar strike and now the next move set for like more mob grinding would be uh, the shield slam. And this is the blessing Lionheart legacy. Your other special ability is burning blade, and that's what it looks like. And uh, last move is shield rush. Now I'm gonna move on to the next class so you guys can see what that is. It's gonna be the mage. Okay, I got all those dreadnought coins. Switching over. Now what do you guys think? Personally for me, uh, I, I like to go for survivability um, and also DPS. I like to make a balance. You know, there's different types of build. Like once you get comfortable and you get a good um, team composition and people that you run with, then you can go for pure DPS. But until then, you know, we can go uh, over builds on a separate video. Right now, I'm just kind of showing you guys a little bit, just kind of like a sample of what each class is capable of. You saw, you know, the the combos, 15k, 20k's, and now you're gonna see like the mage. You're gonna see the difference. You know, my shield slams can go from 30k up to 120k. Or I think I've seen the highest I've shield slam for was 150k. My burning blades hit for you know 40k, 50k crits, and it crits up to five times. So if you do the math, 50k times five, that's 50, 100, uh, 250,000 you know damage total. Now, this is uh, the mage right here. Here's my singular attack. Uh, my attack is 7720 right now. I'm not using the best uh, weapon on me right now. But I would, should be using the Wand of the Avatar or the Spell Slayer. Now that was a singular attack. Now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to attempt to mob grind on the mage. So I can do different moves like Flame Wave on Crescent Moon. And then when they're knocked. Follow up with Amplify and a Meteor. 67,000 on that. And I'm on Crescent Moon, by the way. You know, Blind Executioner hits far harder than that. And the cool thing about uh, Mages is that Amplify move that you saw me do, 
I get a guaranteed a hundred percent crit rate when that is active. All right, well that's pretty much it. That is the the mage. And when you get I want to get out of a hairy situation, you could just blink out of there. All right. So I'm gonna be switching over to my priest now, so you guys can see what that can do. All right, so now that we're loading up into the priest, I will say this: the priest again, uh, when you max out Crescent Moon, it makes mob grinding a lot easier. When you're low on health, you can definitely heal yourself up. You didn't really get to see it on the other two classes, but when I get overwhelmed by, you know, I am fighting weaker mobs, but when I do fight um, harder adds, uh, it does get a little harder because they do end up hitting you, so you won't be able to heal yourself as quickly. But this is the cool thing about the priest, is you can actually blow up this circle. It's called the banishment circle, and there's like a small little exploit. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but you can actually blow it up twice, which is what I did right there. That's the mob grinding, you know, moveset. This is your basics. I'm gonna do divine strike. Fighting fist. Now that I've been, you know, hashing away a couple of the ads for a little bit, I'm low on health. I'm gonna heal myself. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my priest is actually moving really slow, like we're out, but I can't. That's what it's like to be a priest. You're gonna notice that you're you're locked into a lot of your animations. Now, let me switch. The next class is going to be the Ranger. Probably the best blessing, in my opinion, is is uh, for the Ranger's Blind Executioner. Because of the fact that you have so much versatility, um, you do get your... Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you guys what it looks like. You get Firing from Above. Um, you get Thundering Arrows. You get Lightning Arrows. Um, the only other like blessing, I guess, I can say is also really good. I mean, Storm Chase is pretty decent. But I, I, I really like Crescent Moon because of the fact that you do get um, Firing from Above and an Erupting Arrow. Those are some really nice move, move sets in my opinion. I really wish uh, Blind Executioner had Erupting Arrow. And I know this is like kind of like, what are you talking about? What, is, what are these things that you're talking about? But in time you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to switch my Blessing over to Crescent Moon. Uh, this is Mark is what I'm talking about um, for dungeons, but we'll talk about that on a different day. I want to show you guys what it's like to solo and mob grind as a as a ranger. You get parting shot, firing from above, thundering arrows, I believe, and uh, erupting arrow. Look at the blessing real quick just to make sure that I got it spot on. That was Tempest Volley, sorry, not Thundering Arrows. So I'm gonna move down here and I'm gonna tag some of these mobs, kind of pull them together. That's one. All right. This is what firing from above looks like. Follow this up with the repping arrow. This is how you mob grind. That move right there just obliterates them. I'm 
I'm gonna finish this up with Tempest Volley. Alright, well you got to see a little bit of that, and now I'm gonna switch to the last class, which is the Berserker. Until new classes come out. So I'm gonna clear up this last dreadnought. As you can see, it's taking me some time because I should be on Blind Executioner. Because those uh, blessings do more damage than the ones that I'm on now. These monsters are the same level as me. Alright. Switching back over to the last and final class, which is my favorite. I know I said the, the Crusade is my favorite, and that one is my favorite too, but by far in terms of usage um, and getting the job done, I would say the Berserker. The Berserker is the hardest hitting class by far, and anyone that says otherwise does not realize the capabilities that a Berserker can do. There is hasn't been a damage scoreboard at the end of a dungeon yet to be able to verify this, but in my experience of playing every single class in the game, I can humbly say that it is. It just is. I mean, having two Zerkers in your dungeon will exponentially raise the speed of your dungeon by minutes, massive amounts of minutes. Alright, so I'm already on B a Blind Executioner, uh, but I'm going to switch to uh, Crescent Moon so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, because every other blessing is very, very, like, it hits like a wet noodle until you get to Crescent Moon, put into perspective. I'll show you exactly what it's like to be a Zerker. Like, when you're attacking adds, you're doing baby damage. And it's not until Crescent Moon that you actually become relevant. And I know that sounds like very discouraging, but trust me, that's exactly what it is. Like, it, it, that's what really pushed a lot of players away from using the Berserker. Like, I don't even have to fight, you know, fight them singular. Like, this is, because I know that because I'm on Crescent Moon, I can take them all out. Like. This is what you're going to be doing most of the time as a Berserker, doing this. You see, it's taking forever, right? And then you're going to do Whirlwind. Those are the two moves until you get Crescent Moon, which kind of sucks. And you also might get, like, a Leap. Alright, but now this move right here is what's really going to be hitting hard for you. This is on Crescent Moon. 40,000, 50,000, 60,000. But on Blind Executioner, you're going to be seeing 80 to 100,000 to 150. With the right team composition, 180,000 to 200,000. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, follow the socials, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, the Guitars 562 uh, do watch when I go live. Um, if you do end up joining, you know, on you know, if you do have an Xbox and join the Facera server, I can do some giveaways, um, you know, and whatnot. But I I might join the PS4 community. We'll see what happens. But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for everything. And as always, stay blessed. And if you have any questions, feel free to just leave a question down below, and I'll be more than happy to help. But yeah, I hope to guys see you guys on stream. Take it easy, guys. Bye.